In this session, we are going to show how to call a sub report in the main report. So, <coughs> actually, sub report uh, is uh, working as a independent report also. And if we are calling a report into another report, so in this way, this report known as a sub report and uh, for the better understanding we can call it as a reference for another report so in this session we have already a single parameterized report now you can see here we are passing order number to this report then all the information within the order will display on the report uh, like edge so what we are going to do here we are using this report as a sub report into another report so I have already a report now uh, report body in my report body I need to pull all the sales order by using this query now in this query you can see here we have a order number and the total sales in this order so what we are going to do here we are just going to copy this query <laughs> copy this query and in our report builder going to add a data set called ds order we have already a data source so i am using existing data source here and we are using query type as a text ok and just paste this query in my report now i am going to see here their order number and sales case are available into the data set okay now we have a data set in our report so i am going to add a table in my report like this for the table data set i am going to set uh, the data set as a ds order we which we have already created now in this section i need to add uh, if we want to see this report it would be like this now i want to i am going to add order number and the sales case now you can see here we have we have order number and sales case so we need to add a group into the report on the orders like this add parent group order number and add a group header also ok now you can see here we have all the data like this so what I need to do here I am going to remove this uh, column just, uh, just remember I am not going to remove the group I am just removing the column and just bring this thing into the upper row I mean to say in the group order okay now preview of the report you can see here we have all the things now we are showing order number into the group head in, into the group bold here ok now what I am going to do here I am going to merge these two columns in my report same here I am going to do the same thing here merge cells ok now you can see here we have the data in my report and I am going to just pull this data till here ok We, uh, we can preview our report 
now in group header sales order number and the total sales amount is visible but detail column is blank so in detail column we are merge we are going to merge all three cells here like merge sales and just right click on this detail column and insert sub report okay now if you are going to watch or preview the report we are getting this error this is because we did not pass the report name and the parameter so in the sub report property just add the single parameter sales report which is going to use as a sub report here and in parameter section we are going to add order number and the this is the order number which is this is the parameter order number which is required for this report now this is the main report parameter order number so we have added all the step and preview of the report now you can see here we have the same order number and the total amount of the order so what we are going to do here we are just doing some border color here so for the border color we are using black okay and uh, for this we are using border color maroon okay and preview of our report so you can see here we have all the stuff here but uh, this thing is uh, order number is not looking so different date in our report for this what we are going to do here i am just adding a new row inside group above okay and okay and merge this merge this uh, cells okay now you can see here yeah so i want to set border of this column here in the border property yeah i am in the for the left i am setting none for the right i am setting none and decrease the height of the column also now you can see here so we have the order number like this okay so i am going to border it as solid okay now we can preview this report now it looks a combination of a order so in this case we have see there how to call a sub report into the main report so i apart from this if we want to do some formatting like number then currency we can do uh, like this okay and uh, if you want to add some new per expression like order number we can do like this and preview of the report again Uh, now in the preview you can see here we have the data from the main report here and uh, all the details are coming through the sub report so you can see here 
how to call a sub report into the main report so i hopefully this tutorial will help all the developers to understand the functionality between main report and the sub report please uh, subscribe my channel on youtube and share your feedback thank you for watching us